Hi there, my name is Lars Sørensen. We're here at the Computing Conference 2019 and we're offering you a chance to get a hint of just the, of the exciting stuff that's going on here, the research that's being presented and the papers. Um, obviously we don't have time to address the full papers, so this is just a promotion and hopefully you feel uh, motivated to go and check the full paper out that uh, our partner Springer has made uh, available in uh, publication. So I have the honor to talk to Associate Professor Christian Mankas from the Ovidius University uh, in Constanta, Romania. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And instead of talking about your paper right away, I am just uh, uh, a bit um, uh, 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 curious about your uh, history in computing because I was just realizing that the first uh, the year that you graduated in computer uh, department uh, in the uh, Polyethnica University of Bucharest, 1977 and obviously I don't want to uh, talk about your age uh, we <laughs> only have respect for your seniority but this is a year in in which many people thought that computers were still science fiction <laughs> yes including uh, us uh, at that time only in the third year we gained access to a computer for programming uh, but uh, I was fascinated uh, by applied mathematics. <coughs> I love mathematics and applied mathematics in computers was uh, my dream. So I pursued it <laughs> since the beginning. I was uh, one of the first uh, generations to graduate in computer science at the Polytechnic University in Bucharest. You've had a lot of experience since then, uh, also working uh, for several IT startups, um, uh, Datasys, uh, where, uh, where you're also uh, the, the owner, uh, I did all kinds of developments. Then f fast forward to 44 years later, um, uh, we have so much computers, so much data around us, and, and this was a trigger for you, uh, not just now, for some, some years, to work on MATBASE, uh, ERD cycles, uh, to find associations between non-relational constraints and discover assistance algorithms, the title of the paper. Do you tell us a little bit about which problem uh, were, you, were you trying to solve or you, you did solve with uh, this paper, this research. Uh, yes, my pleasure. <coughs> Currently, all systems are uh, providing commercial systems only six types of constraints, uh, the so-called relational ones because they belong to the relational data model. But during uh, experience, especially in the IT industry, but also academically, uh, I found out gradually that they are not at all enough. That's why I designed a mathematical data model, which was, uh, by the way, my PhD dissertation uh, core, which has, uh, <coughs> alongside those six relational type constraints, more than other 50 ones. All of them uh, <coughs> introduced because there are at least two or three important applications of them in real life databases. Um, three years ago, I've uh, published a paper on assisting discovery of all uniqueness constraints, so-called keys, in databases, uh, which I am comparing with farm fishing. Because, uh, first of all, uh, when you go farm fishing, you will get one fish, even if you are not lucky, they will because give you one. Because, because you're paying. You're yeah. paying. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, uh, you cannot get uh, any other fish than those that are farming. For example, only salmon or whatever, coat. 
But apart this, uh, uniqueness constraints, which are the most important, it's true, among uh, those six relational ones, there's a plethora of other type of constraints, and most of them I've discovered are associated with cycles in the graphs of the entity relationship uh, <coughs> diagrams of uh, databases. And uh, this algorithm is guiding users to discover them, uh, first of all. Uh, it's true that that's uh, more like wild fishing. You might not discover in a particular cycle any constraint. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, you can discover any type of those uh, 50 plus constraint types that my mathematical model uh, <coughs> is uh, providing. And moreover, this tool that I've designed, MathBase, it's also automatically generating code for enforcing them which saves both time in programming and it's uh, uh, not prone to error. It's free of error. So would you say, so this is like, a, is it a self-learning kind of system? Uh, no, no, it's not self-learning because uh, <coughs> there are only three types of cycles. Each type has uh, something like uh, 20 or uh, 25, not more, subtypes, uh, constraints associated. Uh, it's more like an intelligent system which is narrowing all the time the scope of the search. Uh, it's very fast, uh, you, you don't need to, to learn anything. It's more like an expert system, a system that knows math and uh, asks user the minimum number of questions for the corresponding context. So you mentioned in the, the conversation we had briefly before this interview that it gets very practical if you look at it, and uh, that you can uh, literally even uh, have it in a, a graphic kind of way. Uh, so this, exactly. this makes it accessible, I guess, for all level of database workers. Exactly. Uh, MathBase has graphical interfaces for all three data models, relational, entity relationship, and mathematical. And uh, for example, uh, <coughs> because nobody can be his or her own ancestor or descendant, mother, father uh, are acyclic. For the data architect working with MathBase, it's enough to check the corresponding box of a cyclicity, and that's all. MathBase will generate automatically the code, which will prevent users from uh, ever violating this constraint. So in the end, we get much cleaner data sets. Exactly, exactly. It that's the whole point. First of all, any constraint that we are missing in a database scheme allows for implausible data. <coughs> On the other, uh, adding all constraints that exist in reality will guarantee absolute pureness of the data. Plausibility, in fact, you cannot guarantee correctness that's uh, not existing. For example, nobody knows that uh, uh, I have uh, X centimeters, <coughs> including me. But everybody knows that uh, people can be between 30 centimeters and two meters and 25 centimeters uh, tall. And that's all. Any other value outside this range, it's not plausible. It, uh, it, it makes the work, I guess, for re a researcher working with MetBase a lot easier. You, you presented uh, this paper uh, here at the computing conference 2019. How were the reactions? People like hanging on to your code, please <laughs> help me to, to implement this in my database. Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> hopefully 
In fact, it's uh, not the <laughs> attendance of such conferences that matter. Uh, <laughs> they were interested, they were very kind. Uh, I got uh, applauses uh, <laughs> for half a minute at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the idea is that uh, someday Microsoft, Oracle, IBM uh, will uh, add those features to their systems as well. Because of course, uh, building uh, a competitor with those systems, from these points of view, <coughs> uh, so advanced as I've proved, it's very easy, but from all the others, from the relational ones, you need teams of uh, hundreds of people <laughs> working yeah. for yeah. decades. And uh, further than that, your experiences with us, with the conference, how, how is it working for you so far? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all, uh, you, the um, editorial staff, the international uh, conference program committee members, because, by the way, anecdotically, this paper uh, was ready three years ago. I've proposed it uh, to several conferences and papers. Nobody up to this committee <laughs> didn't <laughs> understood what it was about and it was rejected as either too long or too uh, out of the scope of the intelligence systems. Uh, so. This is the first conference uh, where people were uh, uh, so <coughs> uh, professional, so qualified, so competent that they've recognized uh, the value added uh, in my paper and accepted. I hope that with this short promotion uh, we have grabbed the interest of our viewers as well and that they dive into uh, your paper. Uh, Associate Professor Christian Mankas from the Ovidios U University in uh, Constana, Romania. Um, looking for the paper, you're going to find MatBase ERD Cycles Associated Non-Relational Constraints Discovery Assistance algorithm and um, if you're inspired don't keep this uh, film for yourself but share it through your social media with your friends or colleagues uh, hopefully we reach a lot more people with this wonderful work uh, and we would love for you to describe subscribe to our channel if you want to get more updates of the uh, professors and PhD students that we have interviewed for you here at the computing conference 2019 thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video